Hey guys, hope you're well. This lesson, we're gonna be learning how to use our calculator. It sounds basic, but it's actually not because there are certain types of calculations that I'm gonna show you that are sometimes quite tricky to be able to do um, on your calculator, okay? So I'm gonna get my calculator and you literally just have to copy whatever you see um, written down exactly as you see it. So the first ones are gonna be quite basic, but they are gonna get more challenging. So it says that we must say three plus then there's a bracket, bracket, and then four minus two. Remember, you don't have to use any calculations by yourself here. This lesson is all about how to use a calculator. And then you close that bracket, and then it says plus two. And then you press equals, and that is what you should have gotten, 11. Okay, let's go to our next example. So here's our next example. So it says three plus. Now, to make a fraction button, you are gonna find this button, um, on the, I don't know if my cursor is showing right now, but on the left-hand side of the calculator, three rows down, there's a there's a, um, a divide button. Did you see it there when I'm clicking it? It's in blue. Okay, let me just delete all of those. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a one at the top and then a four at the bottom and then minus, and then I'm gonna put the square root button, which was that one. I'm just tapping it a few times so you can see which one I'm using. You see there, that one that's flashing blue, okay? And then you're gonna put a four inside there, press equals, and make sure that you get the same answer, five over four. Okay, so this one looks a bit interesting, but just type it as you see it. So it says eight plus, then there's two brackets. So I make two brackets. Then there's the three on the outside with an eight. So you're not gonna press the square root button, which is this one over here, Okay, I'm just tapping it a few times so you can see. Um, what you're gonna use is you're gonna rather try, to, you're gonna press shift first. You see the shift button? I pressed it up at the top left there, so shift. Then you're gonna press the square root button and then there's a number on the outside and you can change that number if you need to. You can change it to a five, a six, a, okay, you wouldn't really use a one. Um, a three, seven, whatever you need to. But let's put it as a three and then there's an eight. Then the minus three part is on the outside of the square root. So don't do it like this. This would be wrong. You see that's inside the root. Rather push the arrow and then say minus three. You see how it's not inside? Then it says plus four and then it says close the bracket. And then if we press equals, you should get 11. All right, pay careful attention. It's this type of question that a lot of learners get wrong when they use their calculator. It's not the learner's mistake, it's Casio's mistake. You see this first number, two and one over four. What a lot of learners do is they push the fraction button, you know that one over there, okay? They push that fraction button and then they say one over four and then they just go to the front and then they press a two. It looks correct, but it is not correct at all. It'll give you the wrong answer. What you rather want to do is do the following. You're either gonna press shift and then press that button, okay? You can almost see just above that button, you can see it shows you um, a different option. It's got like a, there's three blocks. I don't know if you can see that. That shows you what the second option is if you press shift, okay? Now you can go press two and one over four and then plus and then use that one again and then three and one over three and then minus, now we can just use a normal fraction, one over two, and then plus five to the power of two, like that, okay? And then you just press um, you just press equals, and that's the answer that you should get. Here's our last example. So with a question like this, you'll open up a fraction, and then you'll open up another fraction, and then you'll say one over three, and then you'll say take away, and then you'll open a bracket, and then inside the bracket, you have to open a fraction, and then you'll say two over five, and then on the outside, you say to the power of two, and then over square root, and then nine. And then if you press equals, you get that answer over there. 